Since 1944, there have been a total of 18 general elections. Out of those 18 elections, only two political parties have won control over the government. The Jamaica Labour Party have won a total of nine times and the People's National Party have also won a total of nine times. This means that both the JLP and the PNP have an overall success rate of exactly 50%. When I started looking at things like economic conditions, voter turnout, election cycles, and other metrics, the results were completely different from what I was expecting. So, welcome to Island Brains. In today's video, we're going to see if we can spot any trends in Jamaica's general election and use this data to then predict the next election results. Now, I first wanted to start with looking at how many elections each party have won. However, since both of them equally won 9 out of the 18 elections, then using only this data is basically the same as flipping a coin. So, let's focus on voter turnout instead. People often assume that when more people vote, one party tends to benefit over the other. So, let's see if the data actually supports this idea. If we consider a high voter turnout to be 70%, then both the JLP and the PNP have won elections with a high voter turnout, both a total of three times. This means that both parties have benefited equally with a high voter turnout. However, if we change a metric and consider a high voter turnout to be everything 60% or more, the JLP have won a total of 5 elections and the PNP have won a total of 7 elections. Now below the 60 mark, the JLP have won a total of 4 elections while the PNP have won a total of 2 elections. So, with this standard, it would seem as if higher voter turnout benefits the PNP while a lower voter turnout benefits the JLP. An important factor that I should also mention is that voter turnout has been steadily declining. Take the last three elections for example. All of them had a voter turnout below 60%. Instead of low turnout favoring one side like the JLP or the PNP, maybe fewer people are just voting in general. This is something that I'll talk about more in my upcoming video where I'll break down every election in Jamaica's history. So subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified when I release new videos. Now let's look at economic conditions. It's easy to assume that if the economy is performing poorly, then voters would vote the government out and if things are going well, they will keep that government in power. Well, the numbers tell a completely different story. Both major parties, the PNP and the JLP, have stayed in power while the economy was weak and both parties have been voted out even though the economy was in a good stable position. There have been periods where the GDP was negative, the country's debt was growing and inflation was high, yet the ruling party stayed in power. And there have been times where metrics like GDP and unemployment numbers improve, but voters still chose to replace the government. This seems to suggest that the economy is not one of the factors voters consider when choosing which party to vote for. Now, let's look at election cycles. When we look at how long a party usually stays in power, the data gets interesting. The JLP has won a total of four second terms, but the party has never in its history won a third term. The PNP also have had times when they have won two times back to back, but was then voted out the third time. However, they also had one time where they won a total of four terms from 1989 to 2007. So now it's time for the predictions. After analyzing 81 years of Jamaican electoral data, the statistical evidence points to one clear conclusion. And that is, drumroll please, we don't know. Here's the thing. We cannot use this data to reliably predict Jamaica's next general election. The only real trend spotted here was the lack of a third term for the JLP, but the PNP only got beyond a second term one time. So there's just not enough data to predict a pattern here which actually makes sense. 
The country has only had 18 elections, which doesn't provide enough data points for a reliable pattern recognition. But maybe I missed something important in my video today. If you spotted a pattern I overlooked, don't be afraid to let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more. Have a good one.